Hey there fam, friends, in the kitchen again, getting ready to fry me some apples, fried chicken. Couldn't let you see me cut the apples because I couldn't hold the phone and record at the same time. Well, here's the thing. This is what the apples look like when they're cut up. You have to use Granny Smith apples, okay? You don't have Granny Smith, don't even attempt to fry the apples because it's not going to taste right, okay? As you see, the apples are cut neatly, about an inch thick. That's what you need to do, okay? Now, the first thing in the process of this is that you need a little bit of margarine, unsalted butter, okay? I got the unsalted butter here, as you see. I like to use the giant brand. Doesn't burn, make the apples cook very evenly, okay? Second thing you're going to need, when you start your, your pot up, you need a little bit of this canola vegetable oil, okay? You want to pour just enough to grease the pot, okay? While it's doing that, you want to add your spice, your cinnamon. Let that cook for about like two seconds, then pour the apples on top. Then you're going to need your sugar and more unsalted butter. One stick is all you need. If you try to put more than one stick, it's going to turn out to be applesauce and it's going to be very horrible. So we don't want to do that, okay? Um, here we go. You want to get your pot to about like, uh, I'm going to say 20 Celsius, you know, give it a nice little heat so the apples won't scorch but cook evenly all the way over. All right? So, I'm turning on my stove now. You folks care to keep looking at me, okay? I'm gonna set this here and see if I can get a good, good look for you guys. Ah, there we go. How's that? Okay, as you see, got my grease. I'm gonna pull just a nice even circle, okay? That's it. That's all you need. You want to get your unsalted butter. You want to put one teaspoon of butter in there with that because you don't want the apples to taste greasy. That's another thing that you don't want to happen because if the apples turn out to taste greasy, it's not going to work. So now that I got the pot evenly on, I'm going to let it heat a little bit while I take and put the oil all over the pot. I'm going to cut one teaspoon of butter, which if you don't know what a teaspoon looks like, that's a teaspoon of butter right there. Did you see it? One teaspoon. That's all you need. So, now that we cook that and cut that evenly, we want to drop that in the pot. We want to let it melt down and we want to let it mix into the grease. Are we done with this? Yes, we are. We don't need any more grease. Cause like I said, you don't want the apples to taste greasy. So, one of the best things about cooking is, you wanna make sure you clean up behind yourself while you're cooking, okay? And that's what I do. Every time I cook, I make sure everything's cleaned up. Do you hear that? Oh yeah, it's nice. Now that the pot is hot, you want to turn the fire down to a medium. So I'm turning it down to a medium right now. Once I get that done, hey, it's going to taste great. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. You want to add cinnamon all the way around the pot, okay? Let it cook in two degrees in the bottom. Close it up. Oh yeah. Now, in case you're wondering what it should look like, this is what it should look like once it is evenly done. Did you see that? You want to swirl it around a little bit, make sure that it's nice. Okay. Not sticking. Why do I do that? 
Okay, well, let me tell you why I do that. When I do that, the apples itself, that's on the bottom, sometimes does not get the sediment. And you want the sediment to go all the way through the apple. You want to drain your apples. Okay. I'm now draining the apples. I know. I know. You guys, you know, probably saying, this fool is crazy. Well, I'm not that crazy, but I want to make sure. You want to give it one more twist around, so when you put the apples in there, oh man, look at that. That is beautiful. I got to let you guys see this one time, okay? You see this? Look at that. Oh man. That's all of the flavors. That is what helps the apples become caramelized and cook just right. So now that I've done that, you want to take the apples, like so, and just drop them in the pan. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more so they can be right. Try to wipe the hands off a little bit. Okay. Now that I got the apples in the pot, you want to see that too? Okay. I have the apples in the pot. Now that you have the apples in the pot, you want to add a little cinnamon all the way around the apple. See how I'm putting the cinnamon on? You don't want to do it too heavy because you don't want the cinnamon to take over the apple, the essence of the apple. Granny Smiths are very sour at this time of year, so these apples should come out very right. Did you see that? Look at it again. Now, the next step is you want to put the sugar on top of your apples, okay? You want to, you want to get your shickles, sugar on the apples. Oh, Lord, give me a second. I got to set the phone down. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold tight. Don't hang up. Oh, man, this worked out even finer. Now. What you want to do, I'm going to show you. You want to get a little scooper, like so. Okay, that guarantees that you do not put too much sugar on the apples. You want to spread it all around the apples, like so. Just spread it all around. Oh, yeah, I know it's starting to look good, isn't it? Well, do you want to know how many scoops I use? I use probably about maybe three, four scoops of the sugar. Cause I want to make sure that it gets on the apples very, very evenly. Makes it taste good. And that's where we at. One more scoop. Now, when you finish putting the sugar on, this is what it's supposed to look like. All the way around. Nice amount of sugar. Actually, four scoops is like a cup of sugar. A cup and a half, okay? Just to be on the safe side. But you know me, I like to add a little more to it, just a teeny bit, you know? Just give it a little more oomph to it, you know. Yeah, sir, this is going to be really good. Now, what you want to do, okay, what you want to do, friends and family, 
You want to make sure you take that other half, that other. Seven cut teaspoons of uh, margarine, which is a whole stick. And you want to cut it so you can put it on the apples, okay? I am now opening up the paper. I'm going to cut every bit of this butter. I'm going to put it in. Make sure no papers on it because you don't want to eat paper. Okay? You put one in the center. Once you put it in the center, you just go all around the apples like so. Yes, I'm cutting it right. Yes, sir, it's getting cut. Wow. Almost done, folks. Gonna get you to it in a sec so you can see what it looks like after you finish. And we have a finish. <laughs> wow. Now this is what it's supposed to look like when you have everything, all the ingredients added. When you have all the ingredients added, it's hot in here. When you have all your ingredients added, this is what it's supposed to look like. The reason why I'm giving it to you like this because a lot of people ask me, are you really cooking that food or it's someone else cooking well as you see I'm really doing the cooking there's no one else here but me and I'm getting it in I'll see you when it's done bon appetit